welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, and we do it in four quarters, so uh, we uh, need to hurry up and get everything rushed in here, and we're going to have a lot of stuff we won't talk about today, but uh, we'll get what we can right get now. what we can. How about this? Start with some sponsors. J.B. Sandals. It is springtime. J.B. Sandals has only seen 135 springtime. So, I mean, <laughs> beyond that, you know, I, I, I like to tease about it. How many, I mean, how many companies do you go to when you walk in? You know they've done this for grandpa and great grandpa and great great grandpa. Uh, they sold him the buggies and the coffins and the bolts and the nuts and the and hand uh, tools. When and when when they got rid of the Sears and, and Roebuck catalog and they actually put a toilet paper holder on the wall, I mean they saw it all change. And some of them old parts. If you got an old house, let me tell you, that's the place to go. They got the stuff you need. JB Sandals and go right now with all the gardening supplies. It's springtime. Get your ice chest, your lawn mower, your boiling pots, your jet burners, gloves, uh, water hoses, you name it, they got it all. And then they got all the houseware stuff, you know, all the pots and pans. I have a clay pot, okay, you know like a clay pot like, mm -hmm, like you put a plant in? Mm -hmm. I have a clay pot that I cook pork loins in. You take this clay pot, look just like what you put a plant in, mm -hmm. you soak it in the water in your sink, get it saturated well, then you put your pork rolls in there with some onions and bell pepper, maybe a couple of apples to make that, that pork loin get sweet. Mm -hmm. And you cover that and you put that in your oven. You talk about come out. They call that a Romertoff pot. They got that at J.B. Sandals. Got all kind of great pots. Go buy. If you like to cook, it's the place. And how about another sponsor? Let's go with uh, Targill Seasoning. If you're going to season that pork roast, maybe you want to go buy some seasoning over at Targill. Annapolis is on Wartall. And of course, the, the roots of that business goes back to... 50 years That's uh, correct. last week. With the, Bellard The second poultry. of April. Absolutely. Or but the you, first of April. You go by Targill, get any kind of seasoning. If you want to uh, get your own blends uh, that you got a recipe for, they'll blend it together for you. If you want to get them to help you with the recipe, they can do that. If you want to sell it in containers, if you want to uh, just use it for your grocery store, for your, your catering, for your camp, whatever, uh, use it for promotional type stuff to do all those type of things with seasoning. And don't forget about them for cake baking classes and cookie classes. If you're an adult, man or woman, if you're a child, they've got child baking classes as well. Look for Targill also on Facebook. They've always got something going on on their Facebook page. And one more sponsor, how about Slimco? We got the Slimco scholarship is coming up right now. And if you're looking to get a scholarship, uh, 20 different scholarships will be given away uh, uh, at the annual meeting, which is, uh, the, the, de the deadline is May the 8th, but the actual annual June. meeting is in June. They have the huge event in Lafayette. Uh, music, uh, music, drawing, all drawing. Starts at 6 o'clock in the morning, I think. You can win a oh, truck, win a car, whichever one you prefer. Uh, $2,000 $2, for a scholarship. They'll give 20 of those away. Go to slimco.com. I call Miss Mary Laurent at 896-5384. You might be uh, able to see the, the picture of uh, my cap that I purchased uh, at an auction, the REAP auction at uh, Evangeline Downs. A cap? A fundraiser. You bought a cap. I, well, the, it was a silent auction, and I mm -hmm. put $5 down, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I and went back just before they closed the silent auction down. Somebody had put $10, so I said, right. well, I like those colors. Right, Spendthrift Farm is the, the huge farm in Kentucky, right? Uh huh. And the name of it is Into Mischief. Into Mischief that was kind of fits me. That's the horse. Oh, no. The horse's name, right? That's the stallion's right. name. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a stallion. It's a stallion, right? Mm -hmm. And he is the the sire of mm -hmm. Vickers in Trouble, a Louisiana bred that just won the the Louisiana Derby, which is horses from all over the world competing. Absolutely. And this Louisiana bred won the race and won enough money. It was a million dollar purse, so the first place was $600,000. Already made enough money to qualify for the Kentucky Derby because mm -hmm. it goes mm -hmm. according to money earned. Right, right. They've already qualified. Oh, that's what the paper said. And still running, of course. But that's in May, so probably... Might won't, win one or two more? No, or no, 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 no more. Oh, no, no. They, it, that could have been the last race. Maybe, right. if there's something, maybe this week, but they, they got to give them a race, because, I mean, give a break, a rest. because that's a mile and a quarter. Right. Then two weeks later, they come back with a mile and a sixteenth. Mm. Then three weeks later, you they come the back with boy. a mile and a half. Right. So, I mean, it takes a real horse, but wouldn't it be something you, if my little $15 cap... 
I could walk around like a proud peacock. I'm you kind of walk like that already. already. Some people that's tell right. me that. That's I don't right. believe that, but uh, I'm happy that uh, God's been good to I'm me. I'm going to stay Still neutral. walking up. I'm going to stay neutral. I would. I would too. <laughs> I, I better shut up. <laughs> But, but, but we're having fun. But the, the stud fee was $20,000. I would bet after that race this weekend, oh, no. it'd be more than oh, 20 now. 20, 20 now. He, it, he's, he's a producer. And, and lot, like I've told you before, ball cap's a good thing to have. They're very useful. Very useful. Yes, but you Use told me a lot a new, of different things. things. We're talking about <laughs> racing. Evangeline Down opens tonight. We, we tape on Wednesdays. Wednesday night. So from Wednesday to Thursday, from now mm -hmm. on through September, the first week of September, you're going to have by the racing. time you watch this show, there already have been somebody who won some big money. Your we, friend has won some big money, so go we have, to the track. We have two. Uh, I'm in uh, racing stable. Has uh -huh. two, the ninth and the tenth race tonight. So by tomorrow, you'll know whether they did good or bad, or we'll know whether they mm -hmm. did good or bad. But anyhow, the fun is there, and we have a if new you, general manager. If you win manager. big enough, we're not going to see you next week. I guess right. you'll, you'll, we're we have a new winnings. general manager. Well, I don't know if his title is general manager, but he came over with board gaming. I've known Chris Warren. That, this is Chris Warren, the picture you're looking at. They're having a, a little function uh, to open up the season. And, and they've changed things around. He's definitely in charge of the racing. Yeah, I, th I think what they call him is director of, of race racing, operations. But I can tell you one mm -hmm. thing. He Everybody knows. better straighten up when he walks by because he came here from, he, in other words, he's got this job at both Delta Downs mm -hmm. and, and here. And the seasons don't overlap, so he can run both. He but, can be but, at one in one season and come over here for the other season. Something like that. But he, I've known him. He's been with Boyd. He's a, a dedicated, hard worker. And uh, I've offered him, if they have something special going on every week, we'll do it here. Why not? We believe in getting people. Promote some, local promo people. And it costs nothing to go to the races. You can park for free. You can have valet parking. Tip mm -hmm. them a couple of dollars. Sure. They'll be happy. If you get excited, you can put 2 or $3 on, on your favorite horse. You can go get a, a sandwich. Or you can go and play the little one arm bandits. If, if you, you get real to. excited. Or, I mean, one arm slot machines. If you get real excited, you can even claim a horse. That's correct. We've done a little bit of that, too. Why not? So anyhow, uh, Evangeline Downs is opening Wednesday night, tonight. And, uh, of course, you're watching it Thursday morning. And uh, we're excited, and uh, we're excited about the Louisiana bread winning the big mm -hmm. race. Mm -hmm. And what about UConn and... Uh, Kentucky. And Kentucky. I was rooting for Kentucky. I, you know, I got to root for the SEC. That's our home boys. That's right. And they didn't quite make it. But I tell you what, uh, LSU gave them all they could handle, and you see how high Kentucky could go. So LSU has... They got some young guys that have some, some potential. Hopefully, we'll see uh, them live up their potential next year. Yeah, and if they could stay long enough, you know. That's the hard you, it's part. It's hard to keep these young men who can make millions in playing basketball. I mean, if, if they'd have told you, say, look, we know you're making a fortune at mud supply in your off time. 80 cents an hour, that's yeah, right. From, from off time from going to college. If you could make a little bit more like an NBA player, you, you might have been tempted, huh? I would have probably been tempted, yeah. <laughs> Well, but I came back instead yeah. and bought pecans with Daddy for uh -huh. Daddy and Mama because uh -huh. Daddy had a heart attack in 1959. Right. So I helped out there, opened the insurance agency, and I was doing bail bonds. So I did pretty good did okay. by working in Opelousas and Acadiana and Louisiana and then the other states later on. So but I've had a wonderful, wonderful It would have been fun to have a poster experience. of you, you know, with your, your high top shoes slam dunking. I mean, I'd love to have had that. I'd have to I'd get have, stilts. <laughs> I could have hanged that. In my house. Yeah. Know. I'll be Dupree in the NBA. Now, what about the girls last night? Oh, the girls' game was very Ooh, good, too. I but think they, I but think UConn's the girls Dame. are just strong. Oh, oh. Lordy, Lord. They got I say two girls, girls women, I mean. six, six foot five. Yeah. But, I mean, they play. They're mm -hmm. good. They, they earn their keep. That, when you get, you know, what happened to men's game for years, you had about 10, 15 teams that were great, and the rest were smaller schools that weren't so great. And, and women's basketball is kind of like that today. There are about 10 or 15 schools that are great, and the rest are not. And they're going to get like the men, because now, top to bottom, the men are all strong. The women's game is getting better and better every day. I mean, it, it's fun to watch. When you watch the tournament, it's fun to watch. Uh, on uh, Saturday, May the 3rd, that's mm -hmm. a couple of, uh, couple of weeks from now, is going to be the annual bike ride. And I don't mean a bicycle. I mean, I'm talking about the motorbikes, motorcycles, as we used to refer to Correct. them. Correct. 
and when we were young kids and with motorcycles, uh, I wanted a motorcycle. I got an old Cushman, uh -huh. and uh, that's what started me. But anyhow, uh, our friend Anthony Stanberry with the school board right. has a fun fundraiser each year to raise money for a scholarship fund. Pretty Correct. good, you know. He, he he's in done honor of his mother. His, his mother was a strong believer in education, and so that's what he decided to do. And uh, it's going to be a ride and a food, a food sale, May the 3rd. So we'll come back on that. But uh, he came by personally and dropped this off. It'll uh, be at the Zodico Hall of Fame, which gets right there with what we like to call the Richard Club area. Richard right there. Club area, that is correct. So we'll come back on that. But thanks, uh, Anthony, for coming by. And uh, he wants me to go ride. It'd be a good time for me. I rode last Saturday, oh, by the way. Y'all saw my bike, but y'all saw a little piece of it, and y'all saw. Uh, work being Some performed by Kenny Myers. St. Jude Bikeathon, that's June the 14th, a few a days off. Yeah. Mamu Woodman of the World Hall, and uh, we'll come back with that. But I'm glad they thought about sending it to us, Absolutely. letting us know about it. And wooden boats to ply the Bayou Tesh. As we speak, uh, they are unloading wooden boats into Bayou Tesh in the Brobridge area, and they're going all the way down to the Franklin area where the Bayou Tesh ends. And you and, and I showed some photos of them cleaning up the Tesh with two weeks ago right there, yep. uh, Mayor Joel and the whole group there in Leonville. And uh, a few, about two years ago, I met with two men over at uh, King's Truck Stop and we showed a picture of them. I can't think of their names, but their father built uh, wooden boats. And there was an article in the advocate or the daily advertiser about a boat builder down south Louisiana and I mm -hmm. bet that was their daddy that no that, that uh, we had talked about so uh, we need to keep uh, you know moving like we like we moving people enjoy that uh, our friend from a janitor toils to a tort law office and we're talking of course Glenn of Lafayette Armstrong. attorney Glenn Ormontel. What a what a man! If you get a chance to see the video of his life, it, it's worth watching. I it's mean, worth really if if you if you want to see a copy of it, I've got a couple of copies. I'd be glad to share one of them with you. If you call his office, I'm sure he'd be happy to send you and a I copy. I think it's of online it. as well. If you go looking you, for oh, Glenn look, Armontel's story, look for it. I mean, guy. I mean, look, this this kid almost and, went, and, and got made off some on the mistakes. Wrong track. Some, he, we talked about that earlier. Just because you make a mistake, don't mean that that life's over. You got to turn around and keep rolling. That's correct. And and he's a perfect. Example example right here in Acadiana. Absolutely. Uh, and American Legion, did, did we talk about the two? We, we did not, but we, we have still two American Legion teams in Opelousas. They want to try to keep pushing both teams. Harder and harder to get kids with all the other stuff they got going on to be involved. But I saw that... that uh, Seminole's coach will be uh, Pat Artall mm -hmm. and uh, Joey Thibodeau will be the... Uh, the, the other one. The <laughs> St. Andrew Bank, Bank Indians. Bank. Right, right. They, they're both uh, Seminoles and Indians. Indians, right, but because Opelousas was always Indian Hills in that area. Oh, and of course, Opelousas one Indians. minute to Down go. to one minute left. And I can tell you this, Mr. Artall, he can coach. He's coached boys. He coached girls. He can coach anything when it's down to baseball. Tell you He's what, good. He'll, he'll do good lawn care for and you, he'll too. he'll take care of your lawn at the same yes, time. Yes, sir. Pat sure Artall. Make sure the good, not just Liv the players. Lives right there on Megan Drive. You little sure subdivision that I... Uh, had a little bit to do with. Of the Melville Artals, you know. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> and uh, each uh, week we try to close the program with uh, a request, if you might say, consider uh, attending the church of your choice. And then we close with a, a simple thought. And of course, as I said, uh, keep Randolph McCormick Sr. in your prayers. Uh, seven years ago he died. Uh, or was it, uh, yeah, about that, nine, nine, nine years, years, I'm sorry. My God and my Lord, I believe in eternal life because you have promised it. Thanks for viewing. Tell a friend. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.